This is a neuroactivity module broadcast to you on the wavelength of sound. NAMs help you be more easily. From Conceptat, the idea agency. Let's evolve! A first level movement program. Alright, the process of evolution is fabulous but fun, super but personal, and there's no getting away from it, it applies to you. So take a look in the mirror and say to your body, it's good but it's getting better, and... Let's evolve! Now those who've been paying attention to previous programming will already be in the relaxation position. If you haven't, then lay on your stomachs with your arms at a 90 degree angle to your body. First, we're going to relax, because to evolve, action must arise from a passive state. So let's float in the Precambrian waters, like we did in the amoeba module. Relax and float limbless in the ocean. Float. You have no individual mind. You're an amoeba. And float. And float. Good. That feels better. Now, remember last time we developed into fish? <laughs> it was quite a job forming a backbone, wasn't it? Well, now we've got one. Let's use it to limber up. Wiggle with the music and move that fishy body in and out of the Devonian rock formations and through the shoals of lower life forms. And wiggle? Come on, it took 800,000 million years to develop those vertebrae, so let's use them. And wiggle, and rest. Right, this is the beginning of the section dedicated to the higher life forms and which will eventually lead to humanity itself, so the exercises are going to get a little bit more tricky. But stick with it, because it's all part of growing up and it applies to you. So look in that mirror and say to your body, it's good, but it's getting better, and... Let's evolve! So, we're fish, right? And it's great, it's a good life. But we're starting to get a little bit curious about that funny warm light we sometimes sense when we're wiggling. Now, before anyone starts rushing ahead, trying to pop their heads above the surface, just remember that we happen to be three miles down, and that to evolve, action must arise from a passive state. So, if we don't wait for the right moment, we're going to be extinct pretty quickly. What do we have to do? Yeah, we have to wait for the intercontinental currents to bring us near land. So, relax once more. Let your body be moved. Float and drift and drift and float with the current. And all the time, the sand in the bottom is getting higher and higher until pretty soon it's touching our tummies. I put both hands beside our heads, arm down. Let's use them like front legs to push up the front half of our body. With the music, push up, arch the chest, Keep that tail, your legs, still. Come on, we're trying to reach the funny warm light. And down. And push up. And arch the vertebrae. Head right back. Come on, you're nearly there. And down. One final time. Push up. Arch and then feel the air on your scales as you break the surface and use your front legs to pull yourself forward. Then rest. Good. Now we've made it as lizards, start to think about the difference between cold and warm blood. Most important, and every day, look in that mirror and say to your body, it's good, but it's getting better, and...
Let's evolve. This is a neuroactivity module broadcast to you on the wavelength of sound. NAMs help you be more easily. From Conceptat, the idea agency. Relationships. Play. Kiv and Kath, Function and Data Processors for Conceptat, the idea agency, have attended the office self-awareness weekend at the old mill by the stream. Kath is under stress as a result of an attack made outside the Green Man. Kev has left his first wife, who he has understood so well that she no longer exists. A her, her uh, wine bar, a her, her uh, cosy place between town and country. However, the noisy quiet has been broken by a card from the local society. Come to the Union Ball, it reads. Bring two presents, a what and a why. Kev is anxious. Hey, we'll never be ready for the Union Ball unless you get a move on. Isn't that what present ready yet? Oh, I'm sorry, but it's not an easy job throwing a lovely plate of spinach ganache together. Well, there's so much to do and I'm still only half ready. That's true. So it's a good job you had that mixture already prepared, isn't it? Yes, it is. But do you remember what was in it? Please press return on your computers now. No, I can't say I do. Do you even remember what Gnocchi were? Well, are they foreign? Yes. Oh yes, they're dumplings. But surely they've got potatoes in, haven't they? No, no, those are Roman Gnocchi. These are Florentine. Florence was one of the great Renaissance towns of the North Italian plain, wasn't it? Please press return on your computers now. Yes. So to get it confused with Rome is quite out, isn't it? Yes, totally. Oh, but you were describing the process. Yes. First, we mince the spinach extremely fine. Then, using a wooden spoon, and please make sure it is wooden, we heated the cheese, nutmeg and onion in butter. After a minute or so, we stirred in the spinach. Then what, Kath? Then we added the eggs, flour and parmesan, and left it in the fridge for an hour or so. And uh, is that it? No, not quite, Kev. We have to roll out the mixture into small balls, cover them with flour, then drop them into boiling water. Oh, yes, and only when the balls float up to the surface are they ready. You've got it. Well, Kev, with these on top of pasta and a tangy green salad, all the other couples at the Union Ball should be well satisfied with our what present. Oh, I do hope so. It's good and natural food, but one does get types at a Union Ball. Individuals always ruin things. Oh, have you given any more thought to your why present? Uh, in bits. That doesn't sound very hopeful. Well, I've got plenty of ideas, but actually ordering a subroutine through a well-defined information procedure with an acceptable entertainment programme is well, tricky. I can understand that. I mean, take me. I was small at first. Next thing, I've grown bigger. Before you know it, I'm big and I'm here and I'm being asked to make a what present? Yeah, yeah. And do you know, Kev, mm -hmm. I just knew that spinach ganache were right. I didn't have to think about it. I just knew. It was like a vision. Well, I just wish it was as easy for me. I have to start at the bottom and work everything out in bits. And only when each bit is right can I go on to the next bit. That's going to take forever. I know. The first bit feels like it's taken centuries as it is. Never mind. What's the bit you have got like? Um, well... I thought I'd try an experiment with some chemical references, but in a philosophical sort of way, keeping its mathematics artistic and its physical structure as entertaining as possible. Sounds OK. But how does it actually sound? Ah, well, no, that's a slightly different matter. It's sort of... Well, I mean, it's... Um, yes. Well, I suppose you could 
call it musical on one, on one level. There's uh, four sections and, and, and the rhythm sort of comes in first. But the music's not really important at all, actually. It's um, um, it's a sort of roughish guy um, kind of background thingy. But the main fact, the main, the main thing is uh, other bits. Um, although they're not actually just random bits. They all work together. There's, um, there's a reason for them. Though it's, oh, it's really difficult to explain. See, on their own, on their own, out of context, um, if you heard them for the first time, then probably that would sound absolutely ridiculous, which is the problem, really. Because I, you know, I've got to bring all of this together, all this, all this information, in one fatuous present, and it's, to be honest, it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how. In addition, it's got to be entertaining, of course. And then, and then I'm, I'm absolutely, you know, I'm the crazy one. If I do anything that's um, supposed to be not done, but um, you're not listening. Well, no. It's not that at all. Listen, just hold on. Look, here's a minor section coming up anyway. Support band, so what? Well. Uh, but, but, uh, yeah, we get to come look at it. Just have another go. 